These shavings are about a half a thou in thickness. This is a piece of hard maple. And you can see that it's not taking much effort to peel them off. I consider a hand plane to be the most efficient tool in the shop. Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Thanks to these new Wood River V3 planes, we now have access to premium quality planes at an incredible price. I'm going to go through and show you some of the features about this tool that may just convince you that this should be your plane of choice. The bodies of these planes are made out of fully stress relieved ductile iron. That means they're ground flat at the factory and they will remain flat and true through the life of the tool. And something that you typically only find in far more expensive planes is the ability to open and close the throat without removing the lever cap or the blade and chip breaker assembly. Now the reason we want to be able to do that, it provides us with some control over tear out when you're dealing with figured woods or reversing grain. And the way that's done, on the back side you'll notice there are three screws. The two out screw, outside screws are called frog retaining screws and you come in with a screwdriver, take about an eighth of a turn, and then using the center screw, turn it one way to close the throat down, the opposite way to bring it back. When you get it where you want it, you simply tighten the outside screws and you're ready to go. Reversing the procedure just takes seconds. Great feature in a hand plane. Comfort is a big factor in using your hand plane. You'll notice on these Wood River planes that the front handler knob is nicely finished. It's made out of a premium hardwood. There are no rough spots that are going to cause a blister. The rear toad or handle it fits an adult male hand. It's actually designed for a three finger grip, so I typically would rest my index finger along the side of the frog. It too is uh, smoothly finished. There's no rough spots. Now you'll also notice that this adjuster knob is larger diameter than most and also has deeper knurling. This is used to advance the blade or retract it. It's done through its contact with the yoke, which also contacts the chip breaker on the top side of the blade. Now that's always under the pressure of the lever cap, so there's always going to be some tension. So by increasing the size of the diameter, the, increasing the diameter of the knob, and increasing the depth of the knurl, it just allows a little more torque, makes it a little more comfortable to use. To show these next features, I need to remove the lever cap and the blade chip breaker assembly. This is something that I really like about this plane. This is called the lateral adjustment lever. You'll notice that it has a bearing on the bottom. What this does, it fits, the bearing fits in the long slot of the blade and it allows you to skew the blade to the left or to the right so that the projection from the bottom of the sole is even. That way your shaving is going to be uniform thickness across its width. Now there's always the pressure of the lever cap involved which means there's a fair bit of friction between the two. By having a bearing on there it makes that nice and smooth and that is so easy to use when you're trying to get that final setting. Now if you were to loosen these two back screws you can take the frog out. I'm going to show you on this plane. I want to show you the contact surface between the two. That large milled surface on the bottom of the frog and that large milled surface on the sole of the plane make sure that the two pieces are held firmly in place and that there is no vibration. A very solid bedding for the blade. Great feature on this plane and as I mentioned typically found only on the more expensive premium hand planes. This is a new block plane and this is a piece of bird's eye maple and these are the shavings that it produces. This is an impressive tool. It's also patterned after the original Stanley 60 and a half. And this snap cap is really convenient to use. You want to make an adjustment, simply release the pressure a little bit, make your adjustment whether advancing the blade forward or a lateral adjustment, snap it back in place, real convenient. You'll also notice it has an adjustable throat. Loosen the knob, use the lever to push one way or the other to open or close that throat. This is used in circumstances where you're trying to control tear out. And you'll notice from the back side how clean the machining is. This again is something that you typically find on far more expensive tools. When I remove the lever cap and take the blade out, you'll see a very generous bedding for the blade and that helps keep that tool, that blade absolutely stable during use. This is a great plane, it's a great price and I think it belongs in everybody's toolkit. I've spent years dealing with premium hand planes. One of the things I appreciate most about these Wood River tools is that with a few minutes of sharpening, they are literally ready out of the box. You can expect it. The guarantee is in place. Pick one up and enjoy your time in the shop.